Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and smash that notification button. Check all. Tell a friend, tell a lover, tell a co-worker, tell baby mama, baby daddy, you know, just the simple stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so we got about five inches of snow out here on the ground. Uh, we got another five inches coming. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see how exactly how much snow there is. There's my footprints. So today's video, we're going to be doing a bushcraft snowshoe. That's right, we're going to be making snowshoes out here in the bush so we can walk around, make our life a little bit easier. So stay tuned, this is going to be a good one. All right, just picking some of these branches up because they're flexible. No, I do not know what this branch is called, but I'm sure at the end of the video I will put a, I will give you guys a little bit more information when it comes to it. So, I think it's something like that. That'll work. So we got started for one side. We're gonna grab the other. That's going to be a nice piece as well. Alright, let's get some of our tools out. Good old trusty Patagonian bag. You guys want to talk about redneck. That's my homemade sheath I made. So anyone out there that can make me a sheath for my shovel, I'd greatly appreciate it. So this is just, I don't even know what that is to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, homemade sheath. All right, now let's go ahead and get started because I'm not gonna beat around the bush on this uh, video. Dad joke for you, you know bush? Tell the wood bushcraft. Eh, you guys will get it. We're gonna go ahead and get making these snowshoes because it is freezing cold out. Yesterday was negative seven degrees. Today, we got about 12, 13 degrees. So it's not as bad, but it is cold. And I wanna get this project done today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna take all this excess stuff off that we don't need. I did a lot of it, whoops, did a lot of it by hand. So, there's one, I guess I can just do something like that. You'll see, you'll see that this is still pretty green. That's what we want because we're going to need to do a lot of bending. I do plan on making these with some paracord as well. So we can't do 100% out of the bush. I and mean, we could, it'd just be a lot longer process. And for the majority skill level, I want to keep it to the average Joe. So, I'm gonna do
I kind of added the uh, second layer and that wind is really bad. I do apologize. I got the second outer layer going. As you guys can tell, we got the first layer, second layer going on the outside. I'm going to pinch the two up top together to reinforce it. back with our lashing over everything tighten everything up make sure it looks all nice It sure is now. Put it on cordage. I'm gonna just go ahead and go up, back, and over. That way, that these branches are secured. Come back over this way. Go through that one that we just made. And do the same thing again. That'll give us our knot. Everything nice and tight. And then we just cut off this little bit of remaining. And then we're gonna take some more cordage.
paracord. This is only temporarily. Awesome. Uh oh. Hat down. Hat down. Hope I can get this on video before my camera dies. So here's one regular footprint in the snow. Here's my snowshoe. Over here on my left, we have my regular footprint, and right here we have my snowshoe. So obviously, it's worked. I didn't sink that far in the snow like I did with my regular shoe. I don't know if you guys can get a good comparison. There you go, she works. Yeah, it works. So like I said, it's not pretty. We could have probably spent some more time, but as you guys can see, it is absolutely still snowing. Uh, I will be out here tomorrow to make a, uh, my left foot shoe, and we're going to make that one a little bit more prettier. I can't guarantee anything, but the snowshoe works. Guys, get this video up to 100 likes. Let me know. That lets me know that you guys love what I'm doing, and I keep doing these more bushcraft projects, especially the ones that involve winter, as you guys just seen here. As always, thank you, and remember, keep the adventures rolling.